My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Dicey Dungeons. We're going to be playing The Thief. We're going to be doing the second episode as well. Find his keepers, get those pickpocketing fingers ready. This time you're stealing for keeps. You can keep enemy equipment after each fight. Can we get a choice? Welcome back. This episode, we'll be checking in with our cleverest little cube boy, The Thief. It'll take more than a few monsters to keep me from my rightful reward. It's lovely that you're so oh, confident. No doubts? No creeping fear that you might risk it all only to end up trapped here for eternity? No? Well, I'm very glad to hear it. I wish you luck, but that always seems hypocritical, given I'm the one handing it out. Off you go! So from the hothead, we have pretty obvious equipment that we'll take, just the fireball immediately. Ah, I actually have to activate finders keepers. After battle, keep one piece of equipment. Interesting. I think I'll pretty much activate that in every combat, unless it's going to kill me to do so. Although, it, hmm. Hmm. It's currently looking like it's possibly going to kill me. If the enemy is just going to roll a six every single turn and I burn myself every single turn, then yes, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> Don't you dare roll another six here. Only a four. So I'm dead next turn almost certainly. So how do I win? So here's how I win. I need to hook so i need to lock pick right i need to lock pick the five i need it to break into either a three or a two a, a three and a two and it's or a two and a three rather than a five and a one or a one and a five right so half of the time the result is pretty good for me then i hook i lock pick i reuse the lock pick with a one getting myself an extra one and then i have a three two one 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 that's eight damage that kills the hothead right the only way this works. So uh, some some bug must have occurred and prevented me from being able to do that. It's weird. Although, I've just put myself in a position where the... <laughs> where I just have to go back into the hothead fight. Yeah, that was me entirely, by the way. I uh, I forgot to click the hook before using lockpick. Rather than trying to do the inverse and click hook after the lockpick. Yeah, it's reuse next equipment. Not most recent equipment, as it turns out. I know! Funny that. It's entirely possible we still end up winning here, but it requires the enemy rolling no evens. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's that's a deserved death in the first four minutes there. That's my bad. <laughs> right. Let's go again. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 sorry, we don't do another intro. Not after that kind of thing. The Magician, do you have anything that I actually even want, though? Magic Missile even to do five damage? Yeah, that's, that's pretty good for us. Although that would have been a really good turn in the dagger. Good steal. Beautiful. Actually, while the enemy isn't dealing that much damage, I do... I do need to know... Can I steal multiple pieces of equipment in the same fight? After this fight, can I take Magic Missile and the shield? That was obviously wrong. You should have split the one there, right? And beautiful. Now we go for the kill. 
don't you dare just like magic missile me two times in a row and then make life real sad as a result. Uh-huh. Thank you for respecting my wishes there. Okay, so I'll take magic missile. Full stop, apparently. Well, at least now we have decent damage. Leather armor, reduce one incoming damage from each attack for an odd. Still probably dead in the next combat, though. All right, Rose, you rolled two. You're weak to fire as well. Let's have a look at the enemy's moves. Only if you roll even can you do anything here. So if you roll a four and I have a leather armor active, then I'm protected against you. If you roll a six, even if I use the leather armor twice using hook here, I'm not gonna be able to do anything. I can deal, what, 10 damage to the enemy this turn? Mm, I can't go for that. All right, I split this, go for the leather armor. If the enemy rolls a two or a four, I'm safe. Actually, literally only if the roll, uh, enemy rolls a six is it a problem for me. Okay. That's fine. The four is not fine. Because the enemy now has thorns. Which, yeah, just does straight up mean I can't hit you. Uh, and we're dead. <laughs> okay, so... At the very least, on that one, we managed to learn, hey, you can't get two pieces of equipment from the same character. Which is why we ended up dying, because we spent so long on that first fight trying to get the extra piece of equipment from the Magician. Gardner is going to be a really, really great get here for us. Wait, what? I thought you had something better than the shovel. Eh, it's still fine, but I feel like now it's overstated. Anything for Ohio will go into Finders Keepers. Anything else? Save the damage. Okay. Could not have been better. Perfect. Oh. The enemy keeps rolling real high numbers here. I'm not, not super pleased to see it. Really? Split value into, thankfully, is enough. I'll take the only thing I have access to here. And a pea shooter as well. Both of those are automatically equipped because I have the space in my arsenal. Okay. Hothead has fireball. Do I want fireball? Fireball is better than pea shooter. Although, maybe the mistake I'm making is I can't afford to steal from everyone. It is, isn't it? That's the mistake I'm making. Yeah, that sounds like me. Alright, so if I can't afford to steal from everyone, I... I think I just go straight for this kill as quickly as possible then. Ugh. Oh. There. Weaken the enemy. So the enemy being weakened, I think just removes the burn. And heck, I'll just go straight for the kill. I'd like to actually leave the first floor at some point here on this episode. I know, wild idea, but I feel like they might see some more interesting gameplay on some of these lower levels. Wizard has some interesting equipment. 
Like, I can get a haul of mirrors. One is really easy for me to get. I could get a free spell. And I can reuse that free spell using my hero power. We need the free spell. Because we have lockpick, it's so easy for us to activate free... We use free... You know how many times I tried to say a sentence there and just, like, bailed to a different one? That's how excited I am about using it. That said, I need the ability to live. That's a real rough for us. Yeah, it's just a bunch of ones. Uh, I'm gonna hook to split that a couple of times. So that it can deal some damage this turn at the absolute least. I could have lethal next turn. Yeah, not being frozen or shocked this turn or having the enemy dodge is really helpful. Uh, yeah, this will do it. Pretty much exactly what we needed. Goodbye, wizard, and to load the free spell. See if there's any companion piece for it. Counterfeit. Counterfeit to duplicate a die, or I can roll two ones on a snake eye charm. Yeah, I can roll ones easily already. Counterfeit is double size. It's difficult to justify taking that. I guess Dagger and Pea Shooter are pretty garbage. So I could take a Counterfeit. And Counterfeit does become pretty good. Okay, I can almost certainly afford to go for that Sneezy fight right now. Especially because I have Freeze. Freezing the enemy's dice in the Sneezy fight is ridiculous. He completely locked them out of doing anything basically ever. Although Sneezy actually has equipment that I probably want to steal as well. So I'm going to duplicate this, split this, get that one. Weaken the enemy on turn one and set up. I don't need to activate Finders Keepers this turn. Yeah. Frozen dice, so the enemy tries to split it, and then what do they get? Like one damage. Well done. Uh, okay, so we'll do that. Just beautiful. By Sneezy. So, split a dice into ones. This is my last resort. I could use that as a replacement for... I could use that as a replacement for... What's it called? Uh, Lockpick. To guarantee my ones. Lockpick doesn't currently guarantee my ones, but it's kind of close. Uh, but the problem is then, what do I use all of the ones for? The rogue has the ability to use ones pretty effectively, but... I don't think any of the rest of these are ever going to be that good for me anyway, so sure, I'll take the sneeze. Okay, well, there's the ability to use the ones effectively in the poison needle. We don't have any... Countdown, so I don't think we go with crowbar. All right. So we leave free spell in there, poison needle. So free spell and poison needle, and then we need sneeze for the splitting, and then after that, just shovel. So sneeze splits anything, hopefully like a four into ones, and then the free spell and the poison needle get funded. And then the shovel as well, with anything powerful. I don't know how I feel about this. It could be great or tragically awful, and I'm not certain which.
Taking Snowball, an odd does a damage and freezes a dice is pretty good. That's another thing to do with my free spell. So I think I will go with Finders Keepers, but I don't think I go for or start going for it in this turn. Well, I guess I don't need to do more damage outside of those other two abilities. So sure, I can put a two in there happily. Congratulations, you managed to freeze one of my dice. That said, I have been getting some magnificently low rolls here as well, so... Freezing one dice might be effective enough. This at least leaves me with the ability to go all Finders Keepers next turn and be fine. <laughs> Goodbye, Marshmallow, and I will take for myself a Snowball. Drop the Shovel, throw a Snowball in. So this is for freezing the extra dice. So this is effectively guaranteeing that I have the enemy frozen every turn. Is that good? Is freezing the enemy every turn good for me? Is that something I should care about over doing more damage? I actually don't know. Is Snake Eye Charm worth having? Snake Eye Charm upgrades to roll you three ones, right? I don't know what Sneeze upgrades to do. I'm gonna buy the Snake Eye Charm. Hopefully there's not a shop next floor that makes me regret that. Oh, there's two equipment upgrades this. Oh, yes. Okay, we can get real powerful here. You're weak to shock. Beautiful, I have access. No, I have access to weaken, damn. Uh, max four weakens the enemy. No, that's, I'm not going to find his keepers the enemy here. I don't really think that's worth my time. So you do get to weaken me twice. <clears throat> and deal two damage, but... Somehow I think I'm going to be okay with it. Largely because of the lethal. What a downer! Where's that mixtape I play when everything goes wrong? Hope I haven't lost it. It make me need it even more. Okay, let's see on this first upgrade what we can hit. Freeze spell, freeze all dice on the upgrades. That's kind of useful. Five uses out of a poison needle. That makes the sneeze more useful. Sneeze, split the dice into one, and roll extra one. So that's an extra die. I don't use that yet. And shovel. Okay, let's also have a look in the backpack. Upgrade on counterfeit is the half size. Roll two ones for only a three on the snake charm. Okay. It's, I don't know. It seems pretty useless. Maybe it's just not for this build. Snowball, two extra damage? Mmm. That snowball getting two extra damage is actually really interesting. That said, it's definitely poison needle, right? It's because with the sneeze, we can split into five pretty easily. Especially when the sneeze is upgraded, by the way. Yeti has freeze all dice for two ones. We don't need that. And two ice shards. We've seen those before as well. Yeah, we don't need any of those. We can just go straight for the kills. Yeah. Unfortunately, freezing this enemy is really good for them because it gives them yeah, 
access the ability to freeze us very effectively. A shame, that one, but ultimately I think it's going to work out well enough for me to, to be worth doing. Hook this turn I could have killed. Uh, never mind. Wouldn't have saved me any HP to do so. And now I actually even get to keep my limit break for the next combat. So the equipment we wanted to take here and upgrade was sneeze, right? Sneeze. So now I should be able to fund my poison needle and freeze spell definitely every single turn. Taking rid of shovel removes damage from my board, but if I can put in snowball and dagger, I think I'll be able to like guarantee freezes effectively and still get good usage. All right, bully. You're gonna have to go down. It's been ordained. Uh, this bully, do you have anything worthwhile? You've got fists. Does three damage two times this turn. Takes any input. That would be a really good way to get rid of a bunch of extra ones. I think I want to take fists. Probably upgraded as well, because it probably gets more usages in a turn on the upgrade. Uh... It's unfortunate that I have to do that, but... But unfortunately, I do have to get Finders Keepers done somewhere. As long as I double freeze the enemy every single turn, I can still make sure that they don't do that much damage. So if we split the five, I can put a reasonable amount up. Beautiful. And set myself up for a pretty easy kill on the turn after this. I think I have enough HP sitting on this floor that I'll be on full HP going to the next part. Okay, so this is finally a build that actually does manage to utilize all of these ones in an effective way. And I thought it couldn't be done after the first episode I had with Thief. Came to conclusions far too early. Those fists. So ideally I need another upgrade this floor. Could... No, that's a trade, not an upgrade. Mm, damn. Uh, Loud Bird? I have enough multiple attacks that Loud Bird isn't going to be actually that difficult for us at all. That said, Fireman. We have a Frost-based build. We can probably destroy the Fireman. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't want either of those abilities. Double up on that freeze spell and even throw in a snowball. I mean, yeah, that's actually the enemy dead. <laughs> oh. And here I thought I was going to have to wait a little longer. Still three? Yeah, three from the level? No, just two from the level. We do get our option before going in. Lockpick, split a dine two, or rat. Inflict fire. Uh, sorry. A five to inflict one poison and roll a new dice. Lockpick doesn't matter anything for me anymore, so I will take Rat just for the possibility of seeing what it upgrades to. Because maybe it's something that I want to take on a much, much, much later run. 
So loud bird, squawk to silence the enemy, not particularly impactful. Echo blast on an odd gives two weakens, but it's a full size. I don't know if I can afford to put that in my build. Flight, dodge next attack, garbage. Um, I guess I'm still going to warm up the Finders Keepers, though, because I can't really do anything with the dagger. Uh, that dagger, I think I should probably just replace that right now with the fists. The fists are already better. I was making the mistake of trying to hold off until the fists were upgraded, but that's not necessary, I don't think. Enemy shouldn't be able to do that much damage at all. Oh, never mind. Three is still bad. Considering the enemy was double frozen there, three, three damage on me is surprisingly good for them. Mm. Yeah, I definitely chose the wrong abilities to use that time. Lost me three HP as well. Enemies, thankfully, dead though. Yeah, I I used the wrong thing against the enemy's dodge. It's my bad. Again, we heal up after the next fight anyway, so no need to waste resources by not healing beforehand. Uh, Rhino Beetle, Beetle Headbutt, Lock and Dice, as well as do five damage. That's very effective, but. I don't think for our build in particular. Yeah, pretty garbage turn overall. I could have had Finders Keepers active this turn if I split the four instead of the six and then just use the two sixes in Finders Keepers at the end. But there's no reason to do that because I don't intend to take anything from this enemy. Speaking of no reason to do that, may as well not try for it this turn as a result. Having the enemies frozen is such a great defensive tactic for us. Like, I suspected this build wasn't going to be able to defend itself well, and that was going to be a huge problem for us, but no, it's totally fine. It has no problems. No significant ones, at least. B! <coughs> I smell the blood of a walking dice. Wish I had some liquid to drink. <clears throat> Good lord. That was not the right way for me to do that voice. Okay. I think we'll upgrade. Snowball does get that extra two damage, but fists. That's an extra two damage as well. What does rat get? All the dice with the value of three or more. Eh. <clears throat> we don't actually want high cults, uh, high value dice roll. Half size, the counterfeit doesn't seem that useful. Yeah, I'm gonna go just upgrade the free spell. <clears throat> no, the snowball, sorry, for the two extra damage. <clears throat> Another upgrade, and I. Oh no, fists is upgraded. 
Sorry, fist is two size. That's a problem. Yeah. That mean I never use fists then. Should have thought about that at the time. That's my bad. <clears throat> so, Wicker Man. Do I have any flames? Fist, pea shooter. No, I have no flames for the next fight. Still guess I just go down this line to get to the shop for some more options. Do we have decent money at this point, I think? Pops over to the snowball. And four has to go in the finest keepers. I mean, we do have excess dice at the end of a lot of our turns. But our turns are already really impactful. I don't know if we make the turns any better than this. I feel like if I try and make the turns better than this, maybe I end up making them significantly worse, and then that's a huge problem. Very much, Wicker Man. I will take my W. Right. Freeze spell. Freeze all dice. I already do snowball and freeze spell every turn, so I freeze three of the enemy's dice anyway. I feel like they're probably already fully frozen. Dagger. Plus one. Oh, wow. That's plus one on every single one of the hits you do. I thought dagger upgraded to be a maximum of four. No, that's actually a useful upgrade. That turns my ones into twos in terms of their damage, right? So splitting and having a bunch of extra ones is suddenly twice as impactful. I sneeze there because the snowball is the one that I ideally want to hit. Everything just goes in poison needle. Yes, the enemy is going to get to lock a lot of my dice as a result, but somehow I think I'm going to be okay with that because they do no damage to me whatsoever and they're just going to die real quick. Good fight. So especially if you have the ability to like straight up invalidate enemies like this, it feels like you can oftentimes prioritize that enemy at the end of a floor when you know like oh, I'm gonna be limping along I'll have no HP but then I'll get to that enemy and I'll be fine because I'm perfectly situated against them uh, poison slingshot adds four poison there's also iron armor reduced two damage from each attack no hard no on both of those I think the final one was health yeah it was Just these two enemies before the boss. Dire Wolf, do you have anything I want to steal? No. Oh, what a great split. All right, so on that first turn, we've done 20 straight up damage. We've frozen the enemy and we've got five poison on them. So 25 damage, four ongoing past this point, And we froze the enemy. Yeah, that's pretty good. We do have curse, got to keep that in mind here. I was hoping either of those was going to burn the curse. Unfortunately, yeah, sneeze burning the curse on exactly that is the worst thing possible. Dang it, because now the four is useless. Kind of hoping the enemy was going to curse me that turn and do nothing else. Okay. 
So we've gotten that enemy strong against poison, but thankfully still not too much of a problem. Uh, yeah, go for the health in both positions because we heal back up the card, do we? All right, you have a six shooter, right? So that's useless entirely for me. Yeah, six shooter and the Midnight Charm, garbage. Pretty good low usages there. Excellent. Okay, so what would the boss fight have to be to actually be able to contest me pretty badly? Oh my god. Cowboy is completely invalidated here. This makes me feel a lot better after a couple of the previous battles we've had against the Cowboy not going so well. Perfect. Ooh, that's just cruel. So the Cowboy and the Gargoyle were both level fives, but they were the least trouble I had on this floor. Both of the level fours gave me much more of a concern. Funny that. Thief uh, versus uh. Aoife. The strong Undyne vibes. Another fight. Yeah, go on, man. A really early six. So obviously six is one of the ones I split because otherwise I don't get any value out of it. Five. All right, Aoife, back to you. Good rolls. Shame I'm gonna have to take all of that away. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna hook the six on there and then also put a four on there. That's a hell of a lot of ones right there. <laughs> Stack every available effect and then the dagger is completely reusable. Yeah, this upgraded dagger was a pretty good idea, I'm feeling. Enemy would be dead to the poison if it wasn't for the shield. Should I just add two to their poison or go for the blowout? I think we'd go for the blowout. As many daggers as it takes. You've been doing so well. Adapting to all the new rules, fighting all of Lady Luck's minions. When will it finally pay off? Wait, that's Lady Luck's voice. You've been doing so well. Oh, no, bad luck. Wait, no. The wheel's still spinning. Give it a moment. <laughs> right, yeah, bad luck. Uh, all right, so uh, looks like I'm just going to lose with every character except for the thief and the witch here in the second rotation. But then everything will be much neater for the third. For the moment, ooh, actually, challenge is complete. Let's check those out. Complete any nine episodes gets us vacuum, likes crumbs, lint, rust, and chunky dust. Dislikes hairbands, broken glass, loots, coins, and string. Their favorite food is grains of sugar spilled all over the floor. And reasons for entering the dungeons wanted to stop the word suck from being used when something's bad. Aw, oh, that's sincere. I'm actually behind the vacuum on that one. Can we have the vacuum be a playable character so that I can make sure that they get their goal? The greatest fear of hothead is trying and failing. No, wait, I mean, I'm not afraid of anything. The childhood pet is don't need a pet to love me. I have my own self of, uh, sense of self-worth for that. Happiest moment is happier than whatever yours was. Okay, so they're just really insecure. And the reason for entering the dungeons was assuredly really good. My name is Rapsody. The name of the game is Dicey Dungeon. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.